Alright YouTube, uh, this is going to be another casting with the, the new brass mold. Uh, this one actually came out even better than the other one. Um, and so here's the, uh, the bottom side. And as you can see, a uh, uh, couple, people, uh, couple people's advice, sorry, T2H Instructables and also um, Myford Boy, they have these on the Cope and the Drag and I've added those. Um, so I just wanted you just guys to see this pattern before we put it together um, and then uh, we're going to be casting this tonight and posting this video as well. So go ahead and set these together. Terrifying. Okay, get some uh, uh, get some brass melting, and uh, then we're gonna come back and do a pour for number two with the new pattern. Okay, we're gonna we just loaded up some brass here. Uh, we had about half full, and we're just putting a few more chunks in there. And we're gonna have to probably wait just a little bit longer. Again, I want to just like last time, I want to make sure I have enough brass so I'm not short. Right, we'll come back with you and uh, show you what's going on here in just a few minutes. Okay, we're up to casting temperature. I'm going to go ahead and pull off the dross. I think I was calling it crap, but the correct term is not crap, it's dross. So I'm going to pull all the crap off the top. Crap, I mean dross. Jack, look in there. Look in there. See how pretty it is on top? Okay. There was stuff floating in there, but now you can see it's pretty, I don't know if the camera will get it, but it's pretty shiny and clear up there. Okay, so now we're gonna put some borax in. As a flux. And give it a little stir. Okay, we're ready to pour. Got one more thing I want here. In this case, I do have more, but I'm sure I don't. That's my emergency overflow. Okay, here we go. I like how that vent it came up. As you can see, that vent really came up this time. Uh, that's still rad, please. Thank you. Clear up my crucible here a little bit. So uh, I think I mentioned, I don't know, the vent worked way better this time because uh, when I poured it before, the vent didn't come up at all. This one actually went down and came back up. And then where the uh, exhaust, or I'm sorry, the vent. <laughs> okay, this is this would be the carburetor. This is the exhaust, I would guess. Um, anyway, this sunk way back down in, um, uh, and it came back up the vent, which I'm really, really happy about. Um, man, I just I had so many failures pouring before. I'm just kind of concerned. Well, did all those spokes fill up? Did that centerpiece fill up? Um, all we can do is hope. Uh, I don't know. I think we're going to let this cool for another four or five minutes before we take it apart. So we'll pause the video right now and we'll be back with you. All right, I'm just going to knock the pins out right now. Don't touch the brass. 
Okay, good. Give me that. Thank you. And here's my son taking the uh, taking it apart, uh, separating the mold pads. No, it's all the dirt in the pan, that's fine. Yeah, put it all in the pan. Here, yeah, take that out. We got three spokes? We do. <laughs> okay. Do they look okay? They actually look really nice. All right. So I haven't wire wheeled the casting yet. Um, I can tell this is a little bit better on the um, spokes. Um, still got pitting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wire wheel it and then uh, we'll okay, be Okay. So just to go over what we see here. Um, you know, this is the first casting. This is number two. Um, definitely fixed. There's a shortage here. Um, when I had put them together, I don't think they matched up perfectly. But the new Cope and Drag have pins, so they matched up. And I definitely got more dimensions here. As far as the pitting, uh, I can't say that I noticed a whole lot of difference. Um, you know, roughly the same, maybe even a tad bit worse on the pitting. Um, but I did, again, looking at Myford Boy and uh, Petrobond Brass Casting and a couple other comments I've seen on YouTube. I went ahead and ordered uh, 10 pounds of Petrobond, which I think is supposed to give me a better finish with less pitting. So uh, that's on order. It won't come in until next week. But uh, this is casting number two. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, my son's really anxious to go ahead and get this thing on the lathe. So we're going to go ahead and work on uh, taking the sprues off and the vents off and uh, getting this thing on the lathe and cleaning it up. All right, so I wanted to show you the, uh, the, second, the second flywheel with the new pattern. Okay, this is our pattern here. And uh, this was our first uh, flywheel that, you know, had the casting mark in it. Um, and I thought this was a crack, but it, is, I don't, it didn't carry through the back, so there's not... Um, I'm starting to serialize these now, just so you know. And this is uh, number one. Okay, and then here's the, here's the one, one we just made tonight that I've kind of got some outtakes and clips of the casting and preparing the molds. This one serializes number two. And my son did this. Uh, I mean, I poured the cast, but he made the mold. He spent a whole week when we were using the... without the... The draft angle <laughs> and, and so he really wanted to be successful so uh, it took uh, he this, the first mold didn't work out we had some dry sand the second one did work out and then we cast this and he wanted to uh, he wanted to polish it up and so I suggested not going hardcore all the way to town on this and so you can still see some of the pock marks and stuff gives it character I, I don't want it to be uh, perfect anyway let's take a uh, we we don't have the defects that we had in the in uh, number one, and uh, you know it filled out pretty clear. Um, he he wanted to address the inside of the wheel. We don't really have a way to polish that right now, but we could maybe work on that. Um, I'll show you the back here, the back side of it. Uh, just like on number two, uh, the brass sank in here. Now that's where you're gonna, you know, drill out for for the hub. But still, I'd like to get that as clean as possible. 
So I got to work on that on my design, get a little extra reservoir or something going on so that when it uh, cools down, it doesn't create that. But on the back, pretty happy with that. Um, comparing it to number two, or I mean number one, you can obviously see this is rough, and these are way, way more well-defined. Uh, so we are making some improvement. As I mentioned in the... Uh, as I mentioned in the uh, uh, shop update video, um, I've ordered some Petrobond. My Ford boy was using it and casting brass in it, and uh, hopefully it will get rid of a lot of this pockmarks and stuff. So anyway, pretty excited about number two. Uh, thank you, Val, very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel, and you all have a nice evening.